today i am going to discuss about validation controls of asp.net okay so what are the validation controls are there in asp.net and different types of validation controls so what is the importance of validation controls so i am going to discuss now okay so validation controls are used to perform validations at client side first of all let me say what is validation so validation means it is a process of checking whether user is entered correct data or correct input or not okay so that is called validation to perform the validation at client side in asp.net we use validation controls okay so uh, validation performance can be two ways one is client side validation another one is server side validations first uh, let me discuss about client side validation client side validation next server side validation client side validation means in a browser at client side whether user is entered data is correct or not it will check server side validation means after entering the data in web page after sending request to the server at server side it will be check whether user entered data is correct or not so in complete web development uh, which one is better means uh, client side validation is better why because if you perform client side validation assume that this is web page okay this is web page for example it is a uh, default dot aspx in my web page so many uh, controls are there to enter the data like username password uh, address uh, mail id phone number like this so if i am not performing validations here it's not client side okay for example i am entering the data after that i am going to click on submit button whenever you click on submit button request is goes to server side okay request is goes to server side so you are not performing the validations here whatever we entered the data in this page after click on submit button we are sending request to the server server side we are performing the validation whether it is correct or not for example and request goes to server side it will perform validations at server side suppose in this four controls anything you mistake or any uh, entered data is wrong then immediately request will be written back response will come in a, it is so you did mistake so many things here it will display so again next time we are attempting again we are entering the data here again you are clicking on submit button when we go to server again you did mistake some again it will be written back so that means many times we are hitting on the server so many times hitting on the server is not good practice in reality so that's what to avoid the server side validations if it is required you can perform otherwise most of the cases you should prefer client side validation only if you are doing with client side validation what is what is happening you can see this when we are entering the data in this text boxes so while entering the data only we are performing whether user entered data in these text boxes is correct format or not so in this case what will happen immediately you are getting error messages while entering the data only so you are performing the validations at client side so without enter correct data that means any wrong entry is find in this page when we click on submit button your request will not be transferred to server so we are restricting to the user to enter correct data only here we are restricting to the user do not enter wrong entries here in this page if any wrong entry is there your request will not be submit to the server so that is the uh, happening with the uh, client side validation so client side validations uh, is better always in complete web development so why because we are not hitting many uh, request on to the server so until and unless you entered correct data then your request will be submit otherwise it will not be submit okay so to perform client side validations we have validation controls in asp.net okay right next uh, client uh, validation controls <coughs> by default are executed at server side this validation controls are executed at uh, server side 
So here I am telling these validation controls are used to perform client side validations, but we are saying uh, validation controls are executed at server side, but is, uh, it is. Validation controls are ASP.NET controls. As we discuss, ASP.NET is a server side technology. So ASP.NET controls all are executed at server side. So like same like this validation controls also will be executed at server side only. And if it is executed at server side, validation controls and their equivalent HTML and JavaScript code will be generated. Then that code will be transferred to client mission that is browser using that JavaScript and HTML code. Then we are performing validations at client side in a web browser mission. Okay, that is what. So we are performing validations at client side only. Okay, to perform validations at client side, we are having so many validation controls in ASP.NET. So here I am going to list out. One more important thing we can see. For example, if your web page is having so many validation controls, for example, five to six validation controls are there. Every validation control either it is written true or it is false. Whenever the validation control is written false, that means your web page is not request to the server, your entry is, entry is wrong entries. Whenever the validation control is going to be written true, then your data is correct, so validation controls are true. So whenever all validation controls are written true in a web page, then only you are able to send request to the server. Among several validations present in our web page, any one of the validation control is written false, then your web page will not at all sending request to the server. Your, not, your web page is not submit to the server. It is clear. Okay. So to perform validations in ASP.NET, there are several validation controls are there. First one is required field validator, required field validator. Next, uh, regular expression validator, regular expression validator. Next, compare validator, compare validator. Next, range validator, range validator. Next, custom validator custom validator validation summary validation summary okay so required field validator regular expression validator compare validator range validator custom validator validation summary these are all validation controls in asp dot using this all validation controls we can perform validations at client side except a custom validator why? Because this custom validator can be used to perform both side validations, client side as well as server side. So among several validation controls, only one validation control which is provide server side validations and as well as client side validation that is called custom validator. Okay, right. Let me talk about required field validator first. Required field validator is used to check emptiness of the control. Emptiness of the control means, for example, we have assigned required field validator. We have assigned required field validator to text box control. That means uh, you are entering some data here. In this is text box. In this text box, you must enter some data here. If you are not enter any data, then required field validator will check out whether the data is present in the control or not. If it is not present in the control, then required field validator return false. When it will return false, then your page will not be submitted to the server. So required field validator control is check out whether the data is available in the control or not. So that means uh, emptiness of the control, it will be do that. If the control is empty, then your page is not submit. If control is having some data, then required field validator will find out the data is available, then we can send the request to the server. That is what we are using required field. Required means compulsory, it's required to enter some data. Field validator, this is, okay. Next, regular expression validator, regular expression validator. That means regular expression validator means according to our expression, it will check whether user entered data is correct format or not. For example, 
I am taking here text box. This text box for uh, password. Okay. This text box is for what purpose? Password. Again, here I am taking one more text box. This text box is for mail ID. Here I am taking one more text box. This text box is for phone number. For example, you can see this password, mail ID, phone number. They must and should enter proper data here in these three text boxes. For example, I am allotting password minimum six characters. So six characters only will be entered. Unfortunately, user is entered three characters. It will not uh, correct data. Why? Because we have assigned regular expression validator to this text box for checking whether user entered password format is six characters or not. So here three characters are there. So according to our expression, it is wrong. So that's what it written false. Okay. And mail ID must and should be format only. Why? Because mail ID should be uh, always at the rate symbol is required. If you miss any uh, mail ID format, then it will return false. Again, phone number should be 10 digits. But if you are entering four or five digits, it will be wrong. So this kind of scenario we will check out with validation, regular expression validator. According to expression only, we are giving this. Okay, right. Next. So regular expression validator is used to check whether user entered data is correct format or not according to expression. Okay. Now compare validator. Compare validator is used to compare the control data. That means for example, we have two text boxes here password purpose have given here retype password or confirm password purpose have given. For example, password is XYZ. Here confirmation password or retype password also should be same. XYZ and XYZ both are match then this comparison is correct. So it will return true then your page is submit to the server. So whatever we are entered the data in confirm uh, password or else retype password this should be matched with this. If it is not matched with this for example we have entered XYZ and ABC we are entering it is not matched with this so that's what compare validator is comparing with wrong data so it will return false so you are getting an error message password is mismatch in this case we can use compare validator okay compare validator is used to compare the data which is entered in one text box with comparing what other text box control okay here we are entering the data this data can be compared with what data here it is okay both are compulsory match otherwise it return false next range validator range validator means uh, within the range of values we can give this range validator actually so range validator is having maximum minimum properties are there for example if i am going to choose for age purpose age is 1 and 120 in between i want to accept from the user if user is entered 122 we cannot accept it is maximum user is entered 0 0 is cannot be accept so in that case we can use range validator so range validator will check out whether user entered data within the range or not according to given range suppose range will be 0 to or 1 to 120 minimum value is 1 and maximum value is 120 if you give 0 and 120 above you cannot accept because range will be exceed here so this type of things we can use range validator range validator is used to check whether user is entered correct range of values or not okay then custom validator is used for client side validations and server side validation and one more important thing is if as a programmer you are not satisfied with existing validation controls or else client requirements have not matched with existing validation controls if you want to generate your own validations then we can use custom validator but to use custom validator if you want to use custom validator to perform client side validation then we use a javascript functionality we have to write javascript functionality and server side validation we use a server validate method okay server validate method so custom validator is only one validation control which is used to perform both side validations client side and server side if you want to create your own validation control if you are not uh, satisfied with existing validation controls if you want to generate your own validation control then we use custom validator but uh, if you are using custom validator to perform client side validations we have to write javascript functionality this function we have to call a uh, client validation property here client validation property is there in this property we should uh, call 
javascript function name here when we call javascript function as per our function what we have written based on that it will perform validations at client side but if you want to perform server side validations using custom validator server validator event we have to raise in that event we have to write server side code okay right then validation summary here five validation controls will perform the validations and sixth validation control here validation summary is there this validation summary is not perform any validations okay it will not do any validation rather this validation summary control will display all error messages of remaining validation controls at a time together okay so for example we have all validation controls at a time all validation controls have been written false messages that all false messages if you want to display to the user all, all, all together at a time we can use validation summary control the summary control can be display summary of the error messages of all validation controls when they return false okay so this is not used for performing validations here okay so we will discuss practically one by one this all validation controls how to perform client side validation and server side validation we will check out with practical okay